Let's go! Sharks on three! One, two, three, Sharks! Here with Jamarco Simmons. Jamarco, you were activated this week, and you were able to, to punch it in on fourth and one for the winning score. Tell us, what was going through your mind on that fourth down play? Uh, I just had to get in, man. Uh, my team... No, Kirby went out, so we got to have a, a good red zone player down there. And that's me. Had to step in, fill in from a dog, go in there, punch it in. Big roll win, 11 and 1 match. I mean, it was a team effort, man. Defense played well, offensive line, everybody. AG. I mean, it was just a team win, man. We happy about this right now. Tell us what it feels like to be back on the field after an extended absence due to an injury. Man, it's just like heaven on earth, man. You know what I'm saying? I just feel good out here. This is what I do. This is my job. You know what I'm saying? I love it. So imagine ha having something taken away from me that you love. Now I'm back. I feel good. And, you know, got to get another one next week. Here with Mishai Robinson. Mishai, great one-handed catch for an interception that really gave us some momentum to put a two-possession uh, two swing on there. Tell us, what kind of coverage was uh, was called on that to allow you to get in the right position? Uh, it was just a man call. Man to man. Just we man to man. Man to man. <laughs> man to man. That's what we do 90% of the time. I mean, we don't really like to run zones unless we're up uh, or late in the half and, or late in the game. So we just had a man call on. I knew it was me me against TT. Had to make a play, and I did. You draw and got in the end zone five times. That last time, you kind of rolled around the ground a little bit. Were you just getting tired of finding the end zone? Um, never tired of finding the end zone. Um, I just pulled my hand a little bit, not too much, nothing serious. Um, they just wanted to take precaution, you know, so I had to sit out the rest of the game. But for the most part, we got to win. Tell us, what was going through your mind while you are sitting out? Because I saw you here on the sidelines. You know, it came down to a two-point conversion that – that wasn't completed due to great defense, but you had to be itching to be on the field and contribute. Yeah, of course, all the time. Um, I practice hard with these guys. We practice hard every day. So uh, anytime we're on the field and it's our time to be on the field, I'm, I want to be out here. Here with Marco Capizzoli. Marco, your extra point was the one-point difference in this game. Tell us, you had a couple of, uh, of missed ones there, but what was going through your mind on that last try? Man, like I said this morning on the radio, I just wanted to help out my team any way I could. I know I missed those two, and I know my team and my coach had faith in me no matter what. To go out there and put it through, and that's what I had to do, and that's what I did. Here's Larache, Jackson Larache. You put a couple big hits on him, and I saw a little, little shark fan after that. We got that one on your highlight reel. What kind of thing was going on to, to just want to unload on these receivers? Hey, man, all that trash they be talking, man, and they're going to do this, they're going to do that. What really got me upset with us, every time I go in by the, the end zone, by the bench, they used to, they was talking so much trash. And I was like, when I get a chance, I'm gonna lay that wood on one of their players. And that opportunity came, and I did it. Now we noticed you put a pretty big lick on on Bush there. He was down for a while, and you were by his side the whole time. What's going through your mind when you put on a big hit that's just part of the game, but then someone stays down for a little bit? I mean, that's part of the game, hitting people hard like that. But at the end of the day, you don't want to see nobody get hurt. It, it, it can end their career. What went through your mind to allow you to settle down and make sure that they didn't complete that two-point conversion? Well, you know, we knew it was going to come down to the end, you know, and we knew the ball was going to come out quick. So, you know, our DBs, they was ready for the play, and they was on top of the ball. You know, as soon as the ball came out, Terrence made a great play and, and, and knocked it out, and, and all is history. You know, we came home with a W. So. Here with Jeff Bushy, big brother and victorious brother, yes. managing partner of the Jacksonville Sharks. Tell us, what was it like seeing a two-point conversion having to be tried twice that would have given them the lead? Well, you know, even going back a little bit further than that, I knew as soon as we scored, I looked at the clock, 23 seconds, I think it was. I was thinking back to the playoffs last year, we scored with 20 seconds to go. And I'm thinking, like, holy crap, they're going to go down and score a touchdown and go for two this time, and that's exactly what they did. And I was just hoping when I saw the first one, Scipio slipped coming out of his break, and it went, the ball went high because he didn't get up, catch up to it. And then I saw, I think, Misha got called for defense pulling. I'm not sure who it was, uh, away from the play. And then... The second time I didn't even see the play, so I was just, I was just going, oh my gosh! I was just thinking like, okay, let's assume they make it. Then, uh, you know, um, can Marco hit a field goal? You know, and so I, I don't know. I, I'm just pretty happy right now, and I'm just glad it didn't come to that. Okay. Here with TJ Street, voice of your Jacksonville Sharks, TJ. Pretty close game, came down to a point. What a game, yes. I mean, the extra point from the one-yard line, I mean, I can't get any closer than that. A little reminiscent of last year's playoff loss, but we got it done this time. You know, we had some posts on Facebook, and, and Jeff Bush even brought up, we scored to take the lead with 23 seconds left. A, a little eerie compared to last year what happened on CBS Field. What was going through your mind at that point? A little scary. Phenomenal pass by Nick Hill to get it to Bush for the you know for the 
tie, well, the nearly tying score. Terrence Smith made a phenomenal play, and he really redeemed himself. He played a great game all, all game. And those DBs, they were playing short. Mishai, Terrence, Larachi, they knew that they had no backups because they you know they started the five receivers. So they play. They played great. They got it done. Speaking of the five receivers, Demarco Simmons activated this week, punched it in for that winning one. You know, he he was effective on the field, mostly in the goal line set. You know, Kirby was gone first time ever as a shark. Tell us what kind of impact was was missing Kirby in that backfield. Well, I was most pleasant to remember that Coach Moss told Odom on Sharks Well Weekly, we're going to uh, activate Jamarco for some of those old school Orlando right. off tackle plays. Sure enough, the winning touchdown becomes one of those Jamarco. He's just a beast. He had a huge catch for a first down there right. on that last play, on that last series as well. Right. Now, speaking of Odom, I'm not going to ask you to speak for him, but what what do you think he would say about Marco Capazzoli? Missed a couple in there, but really stayed steadfast there at that last extra point to put us up for the winning. I think he, uh, yeah, I think he did hit everyone in the second half, if I'm accurate. And, yeah, uh, Odom always gets on him, but I think that, he might have had a chance to win it even if they would have converted that two-point conversion, and, and that's a kick that he can make. So I like him. Now, of course, my first thought with Odom was when we missed that, uh, miss hitting the net on the kickoff. This time, history kind of rewrote itself. We were prepared. We held him out, and now we're going back to CBS Field 11-1, and one, one game removed from clinching a playoff berth. We'll see you next week on CBS Field against Milwaukee.